Hi, this is Enes from Never Stop Trucking. Today we are talking about uh, differences between over the road loads and uh, local loads. Um, there are also uh, regional loads uh, and uh, in my opinion uh, they're kind of similar to over the road. So I'll just put them in that uh, category as uh, over the road. Uh, so when you have a local truck that stays local, uh, that's usually in uh, the city where you are or uh, you know outside the city as long as the driver can get home at night um, uh, after all the deliveries so most people would consider that uh, uh, local so what's the difference for the company for the carrier and for a dispatcher in this case uh, the difference is that um, uh, these uh, loads are paying a different rate. Uh, sometimes they're paid by uh, by hour. Sometimes um, they have um, like uh, if you have a, a dedicated freight, uh, like some people, uh, some companies will do LTLs, and they uh, put a bunch of uh, uh, pallets from one customer, and they just uh, uh, would uh, take them to different stores or different companies, and these. Uh, uh, loads tend to pay less but uh, you know with the volume it adds up uh, so these companies are specialized uh, to do that uh, you know they have systems for us so you know if you are over the road dispatcher uh, for us these loads do not do not make a lot of sense um, unless you know once in a while you can get you know a couple of great local loads that pay well uh, then it's worth it uh, but you know to you know move a pallet for like fifteen dollars around the town for us that just doesn't uh, make sense. Uh, so usually, uh, like we said, these companies uh, are specialized. You know they have their systems. They have uh, drivers uh, um, trail sometimes preload the trailers. They have their customers, and you know that's how they make their own money. We we uh, over the road dispatchers. Uh, you know we make our money in a different way uh, so for the driver uh, you know local loads are good because the driver can uh, stay uh, at home overnight it can you know he or she can be with the, their family um, you know they know the area probably uh, you know you know like usually where they live uh, so they know their uh, way around so uh, this would be uh, easier to do um, as far as that goes you know you might have a, a tight spots in a city uh, but you know you get used to it and uh, usually these uh, trucks uh, are day caps they don't have a sleeper so that means they are shorter trucks um, so it's easier to uh, handle them um, uh, generally you can make uh, less money as a driver driving locally um, they don't pay that much uh, you know if you have overtime and you know if you work um, you know six seven days in a week that's different then you can probably make uh, more money um, than than like a regular driver that you know drives 40 to 50 hours a week uh, locally uh, but usually over the road drivers can uh, make more uh, money um, also um, usually uh, local drivers since they're paid hourly they are usually on a w2 and you know they have benefits and you know insurance and all that so that's uh, another good thing of being a local driver uh, if you are over the road um, as a carrier or as a dispatcher uh, it's um, easier to dispatch trucks because um, you don't have to find that many loads you know you only find uh, uh, one load a day or one load in a couple of days uh, so uh, it's it's just easier to work uh, that way you know you find a load you book a load and then driver needs uh, you know a day or two to deliver and then you can concentrate on the next load or on other work and uh, usually these loads pay uh, much more uh, if you're going over the road um, so you know you do only one load uh, for two days let's say uh, as opposed if you were local and you know in those those two days a driver 
we'll have multiple stops, multiple loads and deliveries and pickups. Uh, so it's just less headache uh, if you're doing uh, over the road uh, as a dispatcher. Uh, if you are a driver over the road, obviously you're away from your family uh, for a long time and you're out there in a different state, uh, the other, other side of the country. So uh, some people don't like that. So as a driver, you have to be prepared to uh, stay away uh, from your family for a long time and uh, be out there on the road uh, on your own for days and uh, take showers on truck stops, eat at truck stops, um, uh, deal with uh, a lot of stress, a lot of different situations. And then on top of that, you, uh, you're not going home that night. So it's not for everybody. Uh, some people enjoy that lifestyle. Uh, uh, some people don't, but they still do it because they have to, because the money uh, is bigger. Um, usually drivers are paid by mile. When they uh, are on the road, sometimes by percentage, um, very rarely by hour or on salary. And um, usually uh, they're on 1099. Uh, some companies have W-2, of course, uh, but uh, I think most, especially smaller companies, they do 1099 and then driver has to, you know, deal with uh, their own taxes um, and that kind of stuff. So uh, it's uh, much, much uh, harder, but then uh, at the end, uh, the potential to make more money is there uh, because, you know, you can drive a, a long time and, you know, get paid for all that and that's the point you know that's why they're staying out there for so long so um yeah very shortly that's uh that's uh, what the difference is between uh, these two loads and um, subscribe to the channel come back for more uh thanks for watching